Michael, what do you think uh, about MLS's decision to end MB2 and uh, basically give us a promotion and a championship? Yeah, first of all, for the club, for the fans and for the team, I'm very proud uh, about this. We were prepared for to play the, the other matches, but they decided. Uh, how I got the information was not not typical like a champion because I was sitting at home eat my eat my dinner and then I got a call that they decided so first time uh, that I go up on a on a sofa but I think we deserved it we play well we play uh, well the whole season with this young team and uh, thanks for the old player that they accept the young players and thanks for the young players that they work hard and uh, improve so fast so under the line if you have 12 points more than the third you deserve it how did you spend the last two months what what was the quarantine like for you yes Sazadosh Utsa is a nice Utsa uh, and I and I learned uh, to run at Nipligate so uh, first first round was only three and a half kilometer now I find a round with five kilometers yeah I try to do it daily it's not possible but uh, yeah I run a lot there Uh, it's a nice park, so that was my task. Uh, watch a little bit football, but uh, yeah, try to do something. Think about uh, how we concede the goals, how we want to play next season, what is the squad of the next season. And uh, I didn't go to Germany because of the quarantine. If I left, I have to be 14 days there. If I come back, 14 days here. So I decided to be here. It was much more better. And uh, yeah, I was here the whole time. What kind of uh, shape, what kind of form were the guys in when uh, you came back to training? Did you give them any homework perhaps for the quarantine? Yeah, yeah they got Hazi Filadat. Uh, Holly, Holly gave him every week a paper and they did it well. Of course it's boring and it's a lot of running. But if you see the first two friendly matches, uh, you see that our running distance uh, is going up. Amazing. So they did really well the job. Um, I'm happy because of this but you don't forget we had two targets if we make this these things uh, the Binoc Shark and the Cooper so the MLS decided no championship now we are uh, in front of the Cooper and you, I, I told you you can't do this in one week or in 10 days to prepare the fitness level or everything for this match so we prepare it since six or seven or eight weeks in in endurance the fitness level and now we are on the pitch and Saturday is coming. How big of a challenge is it to prepare uh, your players in such a short time for two such big games? Yeah, we had three friendly matches. Um, if you see this, it's like six weeks pre-season. We have more friendly matches, but it's not a new team. So we only stopped with the football. So they know each other. Uh, we talk in the meeting like every time uh, about the rules, where we want to get the ball, what we want to play. And they remember fast because it's not a new system. And so... It has to work till Saturday, but I'm happy that uh, Honved had maybe the same problems, they have the same rest, uh, but they have a new coach, maybe they have to learn more about the system, so could be an advantage for us. What did you think of the team's performance throughout the three friendly matches? Do you think we made progress from one game to the other? Of course, first match was was not so good. You felt that we don't play football so long and you played against uh, Ferenc Varos, so every little thing it wasn't so good it was direct goal in Mezekovich uh, I was happy it was 2-2 at the end of the game uh, the last 15 minutes we concede two goals but the first or oh, the whole match was good I saw a lot and against Ulpesh the same um, we have to play against this kind of teams because Honved is strong they have huge players and don't forget we prepare our squad only for NB Kette, huh? and only that the young players have to play And maybe we go up to NBH. We spoke every interview about it. And now, now it's not maybe, it's Tuti Bistosh. Plus, we are now in the half final. Nobody spoke. You didn't ask me before what is with the half final of the Modia Cooper. What is the target? And now you play against Honved, a strong team. Um, I think there are a lot of players who played two years ago in the Champions League or three years ago in, in the Euro League qualification. So. Uh, Yeah, it's a different level. They are a strong NBH team. We are a team who promoted to NBH, so uh, we are for sure the underdog.